Welcome to Next Level Soccer's video series on improving your first touch. Knowing the details is essential for all coaches and players to reach their next level. Being able to take a first touch to open and see the other side of the field in order to switch the point of attack is essential to be able to attack into more space, to open gaps in an organized defending unit, and to create dangerous 1v1 and 2v1 penetrating opportunities. There are a few ways to take your first touch to switch the point of attack, and we will look at two in this video. One with a tighter touch, and one with a touch into space. As the receiver moves into space, the first thing you'll see is her checking over her shoulder to make sure there is space to open into, as well as a supporting teammate. Without doing this first, she may take her touch directly into a defender or attempt to make a pass, but not having a supporting teammate to play to. As the ball approaches, the receiver must first open up her hips so they are facing straight up the field. Many players here will keep their hips square at the passer and not be able to open up, or if they do, they take multiple touches slowing them down. For a tighter touch, the receiver is going to let the ball travel across her body and use the foot farthest from the initial pass. The receiver's foot is directly behind the ball while cushioning it to help it stay right in front. This allows her to immediately hit the switching pass with her next step. For a bigger touch into space, the receiver still must first square their hips up the field and allow the ball to come across her body. As the ball arrives at the far foot, she is going to step into the touch to put it into space. This might allow her to start to dribble into the space first or draw a defender to her, creating a better passing option. As always, when receiving with the inside of the foot, the player's toes are pointed up and the heel is down. Here you can see more game-like scenarios where the defender is coming from one side and the opposite side has lots of space to play into. The decision to make a tight or big touch will be based on the intensity of the pressure from the defender, the amount of space to open into, and the space and pressure situation the supporting teammate is facing. If the supporting teammate is immediately open, then a tight touch for a quicker pass is probably best. If there is available space to attack first, a big touch can be used to set up a penetrating situation or just cause a teammate to be more open by drawing a defender out of their organized shape to challenge for the ball. It is vitally important that no matter what, the receiver is able to make a pass at any moment. A touch too large may go directly into a defender or be too long before the next pass is made, making it easier for the defending unit to shift and stay compact. There may not be a more important skill for a player than the ability to take a quality first touch. It is the foundation for everything else they will do on the ball. Thank you for watching, and whether coaching or playing, always remember the details.